Let's learn how to use coin for dependency injection. The first thing is first we go into our app uh, build that gradle and we compile the coin dependency. And what class we're using to put in dependencies, we're actually doing person. We have our name, then we have the uh, then we have the friends class we put in there. Now, um, uh, the first thing we have with a dependency injection for, co for, for coin is we need to create our main application. Um, so our main application needs to extend application and you need to uncreate and you need to start the Android context. What this does is pretty much starts the Android context for our dependency injection. We're going to pass through all the modules. What a module is, a module is pretty much a class that gives you um, the dependency such as the person module. It gives us that person class for us. Now I already created the, the personal module. I had to just change a few things, but uh, with the personal module, we always extend Android module. And with, we just override context and the, and then we, we return the context. Uh, you'll learn what this means in a minute, but uh, the, the um, uh, provide keyword, what it does, it, it's saying, I want to provide this dependency. We see a main, main, a main application. We're giving a list of modules here. We have the person module. That's giving us the person module accessible to the grid for the dependency injection. And we're providing this object as something that we can inject into our app. Change this. There we go. So when we inject person, person class into our app, it's gonna create this object for us just like this. It's how we want it. Now we see in our main activity, we have, what's this is name? What's his name? There we go. You see that, that we have, <clears throat> instead of activity here, we put context aware activity. We need this instead of activity for the dependency injection. This pretty much goes through the life cycle and pretty much just destroys the energy injection on, I believe, on stop. You need this to implement the, the coin in your app. And um, I remember the here we have here on context well the context here re refers to the activity that you want to, to provide here so um uh, for example if we have so we we have main and this points to the main activity here so we have main here for the context name if we had a whole tart whole different activity we, we could put that for list and we can provide this differently. So we can, instead of putting, hey, we put, you know, uh, Ryan's um, instead. It's different within that activity and we can customize our provides with that. With main, with main activity now, you need to run the onCreate. I run it in just regular onCreates, but I do main, main, main application, then onCreates. That pretty much activates the dependency injection Now you're you're gonna see these fancy words called inject. These inject the the um what what inject does it is it grabs the object from your coin dependency injection for whatever you you um created in there. So 
in this instance, inject will get this object. Why is getting that object? Well, um, and not a different provide is because we actually specify the type here. So it's getting that person. But also we have the variable name here, person. Uh, here, what this is, is we can have different ones. We can have a person and person one and person one will be like Dylan, right? We can specify different ones. We can have different objects for different things and different dependencies for them. And we have the person created uh, and that just pretty much just gets the injection from there and that's it. Now, what happens here? Uh, what, what, what happens here if we have an, another object that needs friends? Do we just create friends two or three times? Well, no, you, um, you would save friends. You would have, uh, you want only one friends object for the entire, the entirety of your app. But what you would do, you would do the same thing for person and you would create that for friends. Now to get the provide friends here, we don't create this object because that creates a whole entire ob object right there. We would use gets instead. So we're getting it from the dependency injection. We're getting the already created friends. And now we're not, uh, we're not creating a friends object every single time we're creating something. We're only using one friends object on multiple dependencies. 